I have been meaning to make this video for the past week or so, but my schedule had been quite busy. But I got this image from a video that Tariq Nasheed had made recently. And this fits perfectly to what I was going to speak on. So Tariq Nasheed, I hope you don't mind me using this image. But I just want to speak briefly to the so-called passport bros. Now in the beginning, I mean, I personally would not do that. But in the beginning, I understood, I overstood, I understood why they were doing what they were doing. And for some reason, it appears to be upsetting so many so-called black females. And now it has gotten to the point where you have females from the continent of Africa that's saying to the passport bros to come to Africa and claim them. Now, I find that to be quite odd because African females had never really seemed to be interested in foundational black American men. Their choice has always been the Europeans or Asians or anyone else other than the so-called black Americans. They were told by their parents to stay clear of the black American males. And they refer to black American males as yo-yos. And I guess that's because you have black men in the hood that be like, yo, yo, check this out. So they titled black American men as yo yo just like they refer to foundational black Americans as Akatas. So it's quite surprising to me that now you have females from the continent are sending messages to the passport bros to come to Africa. And I think this is more of a money grab. They think that these brothers got cash. But just like when black men start going to white women and start praising white women and start uh, producing offspring with white women, now you find that many white females have the same mindset that black American women have when it comes to black men. Because there are white females that are now single parent moms because some black dude got them pregnant, filled their head with a full, with, filled with a lot of madness, and then left them holding the bag, or expecting that white woman to support him and take care of him. They wanted her to be the woman, but yet they refuse to play the role of the man. So. Passport bros have become an embarrassment to foundational black American men because you're going overseas, you got these passports and you're all on social media and the internet talking about black women and showing off your passports when you're really doing nothing but tricking because they will play the role that you want them to play just to get your money or just to become citizens of the United States. When I was in the military and I said this in the past that this is not an old game. This is not old or better yet. This is not new. What the passport bros are doing is not new. It's not a new game. 
foreigners have always been trying to intermarry with Americans just for citizenship. When I was overseas, there's a lot of foreign women that married black, uh, that married uh, black men, white men. They married military men. And then these military men married these women and they had a free ride to the United States. They came over like you find Americans that would try to sneak things into the country. They would put it in their luggage. So this was no more than a luggage ride to the United States. And that's what a lot of foreign women are now doing to come to America or to just use them for what they think that the so-called passport bros have because they're coming from America and it appears that they have something because they're traveling. Now, again, I don't know why Black American women are upset because these are the men that you call dusties that you really don't want to reproduce with. So why are you now angry because these men chose to go overseas? Now, I don't know why they have to broadcast it. You should move in silence. You should move in silence. You need to stay below the radar. And then after you meet your bride, if that's what you're after, then come back to America with your bride and just be happy. You don't need to taunt black American women. You don't need to make these videos showing these foreigners off, talking about how you're going to get a foreign woman because American women are not up to par. You should move in silence if that's what you really want to do. But passport bros are an embarrassment because in most cases, you don't have your house in order. There's a reason why so many American women, mainly black American women, complain about the men. Because so many American males have become emasculated. They're now in the role or in the position that many women were in at one time. They are submissive and docile, but yet they want to play the role of a man without actually being a man. See, you want your cake and eat it too. So you had these passport bros that would go to these foreign countries, get these women, get them all hyped up, and then start running the same games that they run on the women here in America that turn the women in America sour. And now you're going to find these foreign women now starting to become like American women because they don't like the game that you're trying to play. You don't represent real men. So if you don't have your house in order, if you don't take care of your children here, because I guarantee you that in most cases, in most cases, these foreign women have no idea that you have a family here in this country already. I guarantee you they're not aware of that. I almost guarantee that. And I'm, I guarantee you that they don't know that you don't take care of your children, that you ran off and left these women to be single parent moms. They have no idea that you were at one time married, but then you went to the store to never return. They have no idea that you were abusive towards these women in America. But now you go into foreign countries and playing these games, deceiving these women and then these women will start thinking towards American men or black men like American women are. See, so you're making us look bad. You're destroying the reputation, the already destroyed reputation 
of black men. And now you're just taking it global. So you need to get your house in order first. Prove that you can be a man to a good woman here in America because there are still good women here. They just don't want you because they see you for who you are. So you run to foreign countries or nations where they don't know you. And then you go there and you'll end up being robbed, coming up missing, or you destroy the lives of these women that really didn't deserve it. So, passport bros, get your house in order before you try going to other nations and destroying those women in those countries. If you were broke here in America, you're going to be broke there. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.